my God, you are the eyes that I used to see. You are the key that opened the door. You are the owner, are the owner of my soul. The push the bonus of never go. Oh, what shall I render? voice and worship this God. He's our God. He's our hope. He's our comforter. He's our strength. He is the Lord King of glory. He is the one that owns the key. He is the Lord King Almighty. The one that said the thing and it comes to pass. The God Almighty who stands for us. The one that speaks and it will come to pass. He is not a man. He does not lie. He is the immortal God. He is the invisible God. He is the great wise God. Lift up your voice and worship our God. Worship our healer. Worship our deliverer. Worship our comforter. Worship our solution. Worship our confidence. Lift up your voice and worship him. Worship the one that said the thing and it comes to pass. It's not a man. His word is here and amen. He changeth not. Lift up your voice and adore the name of the Lord. Give him worship. Give him adoration. Give him honor. That is what he deserves from you. He cannot drink. He does not take color not. Yeah, you cannot buy him clothes. All you need to give to him this evening is worship. Adore his name. Call him by his name. He's the Abadaguru God. He's your Mawaba. Lift up your voice and worship God. The God that changeth not. The God that faileth not. Lift up your voice and worship Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Elohi, Jehovah Sikenu, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Hosri, Jehovah Hori. Lift up your voice and worship Him, Jehovah Sikenu. Lord, we give you worship. Anu ana we mo na bani, o kemi ni ne wo we. Ezo me kan na ya, eze noni we weru wa meri entu kwasuku. O jingu emoji. Lift up your voice and worship the Lord. Worship the King of Glory. Who you look at, man, that's so credible. Lift up your voice and worship Him. Chim mechi on odu kama iho neku. Mano me poni oku chuli nonu ya. Lord, you are worthy. Anu ana abwe bo na bani. Igwe, lift up your voice and worship the Lord. Worship the token adu God. Worship the Lord King of Glory. Oh Lord, my God is wonderful. When the door is locked, oh door cannot prevent Him because He will pass even at every corner. Ah, lift up your voice because God cannot be hindered. He cannot be stopped. Adore the name of the Lord. Lord, we give you worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped him. I love worshipping this God because I know what worship has done for me. When you worship God, he comes down by himself to inhabit, to do that which only man cannot do, but only him can do. I want you to lift up your voice and tell God thank you. In all our faith clinics, in all our faith clinics that is thank prayer fire, thank the Lord for what he has been doing for us. God has never failed us in Champions Cathedral. Lift up your voice and give him thanks. Thank the Lord for salvation of soul. Thank him for healing. Thank him for deliverance. Thank him for salvation. Thank him for miracle. Lift up your voice and thank the Lord for testimony. Look at what the law is doing in the house of the law. No man can do such a thing. No man can help an innocent lady that came to church to attend first, second, and third service. Oh, with something, food on the fire, and it did not get born. You don't know what that means. Lift up your voice and thank the law. If you acknowledge that power, that a brother just came and touched the altar, and kidney problem has been healed. Oh, thank the law. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Thank the Lord for that little girl that was not there. That is the thanksgiving. Thank Him for miracle. Thank Him for miracle. The Lord is great. The Lord is wonderful. Thank God for that growth that the Lord met her. Just like that. Lift up your voice and give God thanks. The Lord has been doing great things in Champions Cathedral. We are here again to ask. Oh, we cannot be Oliver Twist. Tell the Lord thank you. Tell Him thank you. Tell Him thank you. Jesus mighty name we have given
giving thanks. But then we have come to take what belongs to us. And when you come to take what belongs to you, you know there are powers that does not want it to come to pass. When you are going out for war, you wear a, a bulletproof. But we are going to wear the blood of Jesus. Who is greater than that bulletproof? Because that is our bulletproof. So you begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. So that when you are, when you are returning, it will not come back to you. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Because we are here to take what belongs to us. We are here to silence the voice of the enemy. We are here to tell them that they cannot continue in our life. Ah, cover yourself, your children, your business, your husband, all that concerns you, even the place you are standing with the blood of Jesus. I cover the altar of God with the blood of Jesus. I soak myself, my children, my husband, oh my career, everything that concerns my husband, my husband's career, my certificates, my husband's certificate, my children, wherever they are, home and abroad, I dip them in the blood of Jesus. I dip everyone with the blood of Jesus. The church in and out to the blood of Jesus. Let the blood speak for us this evening. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed I want us to lift up our voice and ask God for mercy tell the Lord say father have mercy on me whatever I have done Lord known and unknown to me father let your mercy speak for me oh my actions my words what I have done what I fail to do Lord let your mercy speak for me let your mercy speak for my children let your mercy speak for my husband let your mercy speak for my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, my father, my father, my father. I have no power of my own. I need your strength, oh Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Empower my tongue. That as I decree, Lord, it will come to pass. It will come to manifestation. Lift up your voice and pray. We have no power of our own. Zechariah 4, 6 says, It is not by power, it's not by might, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your voice and ask for the strength of the law. Lift up your voice and ask the Holy Spirit to empower your tongue. Holy Spirit, empower my tongue. Empower my tongue. Empower my tongue. I empower my tongue, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11 says, It said, But the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 11. It said, Before him my persecutors will stumble. They cannot defeat me. They will fail and they will thoroughly humiliated. This, their dishonor will never be forgotten. You are going to cry unto God, say, My father, my father, my father. By your power, I command every demon that has followed me to char this evening. I command you to burn to arches. You follow, follow demon. Lift up your voice and pray. Because there are power following people up and down. Wherever you are going, they are following you. They know that you are here tonight. They want to disrupt. They want to stop you. They want to hinder what God wants to do. Tell the Lord, you follow, follow demon. Following me everywhere I go. Ah, tonight, I command you to burn to arches. Oh, you burn to arches. In the mighty name of Jesus, your confusion shall never be forgotten. You will live to know. Because today, you will be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 to 19. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 to 19 made us to know. So whatever thing that he binds on earth is bound in heaven. Anything you lose on earth is losing in heaven. And he continued in verse 19 to say that when we come together, agreed in prayer, that God will answer us in paraphrase. So you will hold everybody hand. Hold your hands. Hold the hands of your neighbor. There should be a chain hand because we are coming here to do something that is special. And today you will testify. You will sleep and to know that indeed you are free in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. Say it loud. Say, my father, my father, my father. In agreement, oh Lord. As 
because you have assured us in your word that when we pray together, you will answer. We are decree, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every evil plantation responsible for my, my stagnation, responsible for delay, responsible for disappointment, in the name of Jesus, I command you to destroy. I command you to destroy. With your hands joined together, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Every satanic plantation responsible for stagnation, responsible for delay, responsible for disappointment. In the name of Jesus, tonight we decree your dis destruction. Tonight we decree your destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree your destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of this. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed with thanksgiving. Let's have our seats. Good evening, daddies. Good evening, mommies. Choir, God bless you. Thank you very much. Good evening, my glorious youth in the house and the precious teenagers and children in the house. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. How was your day? Mine was fine. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We just have a few exhortations, just a brief one, to encourage us tonight before we continue in the place of prayer. And I pray that the Lord King of glory by himself will chase away every delay, stagnation, disappointment in our lives and family in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, the topic the Lord gave me to encourage you tonight is delayable but not undeniable. Say, echo it please. Delayable but undeniable. Say it again. Delayable but undeniable. When we talk about what is delay or delayable, we're talking about, said is what? Capable of being delayed. Capable of being delayed. Yes, one can be delayed because we are made to know that in the book of John 10.10 10, that the devil has come to kill, to steal, and to what? To destroy. So the devil is there. And so there is every trace that there will be what? Delay. Praise the Lord. But when we talk about undeniable, we are talking about, he said it is what? impossible to deny you hear the word impossible to deny so they can delay you but they will not deny you of your blessing it will be impossible for them to deny you of your blessing they can delay you they can plan every means to make sure that things happen for you to be in a particular spot but I tell you the facts they cannot stop you they cannot deny you they have tried it in the past and they have failed. Your case will not be different in the name of Jesus. And so the Bible text is taken from Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10 to 11. Isaiah chapter 55, verse, verse 10 to 11. And I read. It said, For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, it returneth not hither. But watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bring forth and bob, that it may give seeds to the sower and bread to the eater. Verse 11. So shall thy word, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper. In the thing where to I sent it. Praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord that God Almighty sent unto Isaiah, speaking to him, telling him that if the children of Israel will return back to me, if they will hearken to the voice of my of my voice, this is what I'm going to do to them. This word that we just read depicts prosperity, it depicts abundance. He speaks about harvest of miracle. He said, 
this is what I will do to them. And that is what he will do to the one that is righteous, seated, looking at me this hour in the name of Jesus. That if the, whatever the enemy has planted in your life, to deny you your place of glory. The Lord has sp is speaking tonight that he will make all your efforts come to fruitfulness. He said he will avert if there's a water to what you plant. He said it will bring out fruits. It will bring out bob. And when it brings out bob, it will bring what? Avert. It will send rain that will water it. So whatever they are trying to do to make you slow down, to bring you down, the Lord has spoken. And your, the word of the Lord, he said that it will not go unaccomplished. Nothing will stop it from being manifest in your life. So you will calm down and believe that whatever delay, stagnation you are going through, disappointment, the Lord is in the house. So settle it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Why do I know that if you don't give up, God will answer you? Luke chapter 18, verse 7 to 8. Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. He said, I shall not God avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he be along with them, Verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. This is a scripture, Jesus Christ. It's a parable of that persistent widow who went to the judge, the judge that does not have respect for any man, he does not even have regard for God. He went there and asked the judge. Please avenge for my adversity. The judge said, ah, this woman is troubling me so much. Let me even answer this woman so that she will let me go. Though I don't have regard for man and I don't have regard for God, but let me allow him go. And Jesus said that word there, that can't, if my, can't my God, if this judge can do this, my God will also avenge for his children. Those his children that will, not, that will persist. Those his children that will not give up. Those his children will stand in faith. I come to you with a word today. I don't know what that, thing, that delay is. I don't know what the stagnation you are going through. But the Lord said if you can persist, if you can wait upon him, if you can cry unto him day and night, he will not leave you alone. He will answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord will answer you in the name of Jesus. Don't give up. Because in the school of adversary, adversity, you are not finished when you are defeated. The school of adversity, you are not finished when you are defeated. But you are finished when you surrender. When you are defeated, you are not finished. But you are finished when you are what? Surrender. Don't surrender. Because the book of Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10 made us to know, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep crying unto God. Oh, you are that one that had gone for interview. After the interview, the directors, they touch your back. They tell you, my dear, don't worry. You did very well. We will get back to you. You are here sitting the one year has passed, two years have passed, three has passed. They have not called you. Relax, don't give up. They can only deny you, but they will never. They can only delay you, but they will not deny you of that certificate. They will not deny you of that appointment later. Oh, you are pregnant, you are seeking for the fruit of the womb for months or years. And suddenly you took in. You wait one month, it's growing. Two months is growing. Three months is growing. Four months is growing. Suddenly, you saw your flow. And you cry. Yes, it is painful. But I want to tell you, do not give up. Don't give up. Because they can only delay your conception. They can only delay your seeing your baby cry in your hand. But they cannot deny you of being called a mother. They cannot. They cannot. You have gone for that contract. You have done what all possible effort. Put everything necessary that you ought to put. And it's not forthcoming. Don't be discouraged. 
Don't be discouraged. God will not abandon you. He has never done it before. He will not do it to you. You are here. A man has come and said, I want to marry you. You have agreed. You've taken the man to the pastor. Or you have taken to your parents. But suddenly the man turned back. And you are crying. Yes. Yes. It is not easy. You can cry. But don't give up. They can only delay you from putting on your wedding gown. They can only delay you from being called Mrs. This. Oh, but I tell you, they cannot deny you of walking into your husband's house. They cannot deny you of being called Mrs. Somebody. They will only delay you. They cannot deny your faith. The God we serve is a powerful God. They try to deny, to delay Daniel in the book of Daniel chapter 10. Daniel, from the beginning of that scripture, he prayed as he was praying from verse 12. Daniel chapter 10 verse 12. God sent his prayer from the beginning, the first time. But what happened? The prince of Persia stopped it. Daniel, if Daniel has stopped, if he has stopped in that midway of prayer, God wouldn't have sent his prayer as wouldn't have sent another angel to bring an answer for that same matter he was crying in verse 13. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep doing what you need to do because God will not abandon you. I am here to encourage somebody. You're already telling yourself, I'm married for some months now, for years now. I am still single. This is what I'm doing. What have I not done? I have prayed. I have fasted. Look, let me tell you. If you read the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 14, the scripture has made us to know that the devil has programmed it. He said, now I am come to make thee understand what shall be for thy people in the later days for here the vision is for many days that thing that happened to Daniel it was telling us that it's a lesson for us to learn that such things will still be happening but we should do what? we should keep moving devil does not want the children of God to see the light of the day but if you surrender they will succeed I come to tell you this evening do not surrender Stand on your feet and tell God, I will not surrender. I will take my place of glory. Satan will not stop me. I am unstoppable. Say, I am unstoppable. I cannot be denied because I am the light of the Lord. I shine in darkness. Now lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Pray that prayer is a decree. Decree that you cannot be stopped. I don't know the area that they have been trying to stop you. But I tell you, you cannot be stopped. You cannot be hindered. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's have our seats. How can I put the Satan in the dark? To ensure that I fulfill God's promises in my life. How can I put the Satan in the dark to ensure that God's promises is fulfilled in my life? Number one, do all that you can to make God happy. All that you have been doing before now, continue doing them. Do your possible best in the presence of the Lord. Give unto God. Pay your tithes. Support the work of God. Because all that the devil wants you to do is that you will say, I will not come to church again. I won't even do offering again. I won't pay my tithes. Since God, that is what he wants you to do. He wants you to give up. But don't. Because he's a liar. And he will remain a liar in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two. Keep praying. Don't get tired. Some of us are already getting tired. At night, we sleep, we don't pray. We're already asking questions. God, when will you do it? But I assure you, God will answer in the name of Jesus. Because Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13 says, Praying always with all prayer, supplication in spirits. And Luke chapter 18 verse 1b says, Men ought always to pray 
and not to faint. Do not faint. The Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Number three, make up your mind to live a righteous life. Make up your mind to live a righteous life. Why? Whoever that covereth his sin shall not prosper. Whoever. We are talking about the prosperity. How God has ensured us. How he told us in the book of Isaiah 55. Oh, that yes, I will send rain. I will make your ups. I will make it bring forth fruit. I will do this for you. I am the one that has said it. My word cannot go back to me void. If you are not in tune with the Lord, it will not work. Praise the Lord. He said, whoever that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whosoever confesseth and forsake them shall have mercy. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10. Say, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Unrighteous will not inherit. When we talk about kingdom, it's not when you die. You can inherit God's kingdom even on earth. Don't, those ones that are enjoying everything in life, is their head different? As a Christian, you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Is that not what it said? Goodness of the Lord will follow you all the days of your life. So if you think that when you commit sin, when you do all evil, you will enjoy the kingdom of God, it is fallacy. So you need to tell yourself, I must drop evil. And if you look that verse, it went down, naming all. There are a lot of them. Be not deceived. Fornicators. Drunkards. Adulterers. Adulterers. He mentioned them. He said they will not inherit the kingdom of God. You want God to push you forward. You must tell yourself, God, let me do your own part. Let me know. So that you can do your own part. Do your own bits, And God will do his own. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want her about. Awake to righteousness. You are here in the house. Because we are going to be praying some dangerous prayer points here. Whether whoever that is delaying you. We don't know whether you are the one delaying yourself. Whether the enemy is delaying you. But because God will hear our cry this evening, if you know you have not in any time surrender your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, the altar is open. Jesus Christ is here. He wants you to surrender to him as Lord and personal Savior. Peraventure you have gone out of the Lord. You have surrendered your life before now, but you have taken a step out of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and you have done one thing or the other. That is already speaking to you even as you are sitting. That my son, my daughter, you have done this, you have done that. You have to come out to surrender your life to God. You will tell the Lord, Father, because this is the altar where you will need the strength. Where you need the grace to live the righteous life. And so if you are in the house, just wave your hands. Wave your hands if you are in the house. Wave your hands and surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. If you are in the house, wave your hands. Wave your hands and come to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come on, oh, you if you're in the house, come to the Lord Almighty. Come and renew the faith with the Lord. Come and tell the Lord, I have no power of my own. Fight for me. Give me the grace to remain righteous. Thank you, Lord. Calling no sinners, come home, come home. If you are coming, come quickly. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We thank you, Lord, our Father, because you are mighty, you are great, you are excellent. You are the one that knows how to call your own. Father, we say thank you. We lift up these ones before your throne of grace. We ask our Father that you wash them with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. That is shed on the cross of Calvary for the remission of sin. 
Lord, write their names in the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that from this day, you will receive the grace never to go back to your vomits. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Please, my brother, look at the counselor of them. My brothers, meet her. Write down your prayer points. We will continue to pray for you, the pastorate. Our pastor is interested in your, in the, your prayer points. And the Lord will answer you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's be on our feet. If I be a child of God, let's fire fall. If I be a child of God, let's fire fall. If I be a child of God, let's fire fall. If I be a child of God, let's fire fall. Are you tired of delay and stagnancy? Are you tired of disappointment? Your hands are hand of, that is anointed already with a pile of the Holy Ghost. Because I have righteous people sitting here. So you will clap those hands as you clap your hands. The head of the enemy, wherever they are, that does not want you to go forward, will be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. If I, if I be a child of God, let's fire fall. If I be a child of God, let's fire fall. If I be a child of God, let's fire fall. If I be a child of God, let's fire fall. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Every day is a salvation against me. I say backfire. Backfire. Every day is a salvation against me. I say backfire. Jump out, jump out. Evil arrow in my body, in my body, in my eyes, oh, in my blood, oh, in my head, oh, in my eyes, oh, in my head, oh, in my home, oh, in my marriage, oh, in my career, in my service, oh, in my life, oh, in my appointment, oh, in my appointment, jump out. From every delay, from disappointment, I receive my deliverance. I receive my deliverance. I am your daughter. I am your son. I am your child. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Some I had a revelation and I saw a man making move to take what belongs to him but there was a rope around his waist dragging him back not to get to that point of that glorious thing that he needed to take that was a stagnation you are here in the house you see yourself going back to the school that you attended before now that is stagnation you see yourself, oh, you are big and married. You still put on your school uniform. Ah, in primary school, in secondary school, that is a stagnation. You are in this place, you see yourself walking in the bush. That is a sign of the stagnation. My sisters, my brother, pray this prayer very well. And you will pray it with the scripture. The book of Isaiah 54, verse 17 says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall be what? Content. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord of God. If you are righteous in the house and you are being delayed today, your enemy will know that you are in the presence of the Lord. You say, oh, hindering tongue. Oh, hindering 
chunk of delay. Oh, hindering tongue of disappointment. Oh, hindering tongue of stagnation. Speaking evil against my life. You are a liar. I command you. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. That tongue will not speak against you again. That tongue will not speak delay in your life again. Wherever they are, wherever they are, Latale katale bragada bush, rekete le bole bragada, masote le bole bragada bush. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Many people are suffering delay. God has programmed blessings. So many of us, the work we are doing is not the work we are supposed to do. You just decided to take that job because let me just do this one. Ah, it is too much. Some of, some of us, you enter some marriage. Hey, let me just go. Ah, say me, let them just call me Mrs. Because you felt that you are being delayed. You didn't wait enough to see that great thing God has for you. The yoke of delay, stagnation, will be broken today in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 17 made us to know. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. It shall come to pass in this day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. Brethren, you carry anointing. Brethren, there's anointing on your head. Say, my father, my father, my father. By your power, I decree. Oh, ye yoke of stagnation. Oh, ye yoke of delay. I command you, break, 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 break. Are they breaking the yoke of stagnation? Are they breaking the yoke of delay? Are they breaking the yoke of that delay? Are you breaking the yoke of stagnation? Break it, break it, break it, break it. Yes, 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 yes. Red that Zatarava Libre Gribush. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It is a yoke of delay that will make a man that is supposed to have his children, train them in the university, start having children at the age of 60, at the age of 65. The yoke of delay has wasted a lot in his life. You will destroy every yoke of delay that has denied you of wasting your life or that has wasted a lot in your life. You will destroy it tonight. Wherever they are, they will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Alenda Sekula Prakata. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. I, said, I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the locust, ah, has eaten, even the palmer worm, the great army which I sent into that means. It is God that sent it when the children of God committed sin. But He said, I will restore. Whatever that has caused delay in your life, whatever you have done in the past, the Lord said it will restore. Tonight it will restore in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. According to your word, you said it will restore unto me. Please, my God, restore unto me. All oh, that the yoke of delay has wasted in my life. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Oh, that they are wasted. Oh, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. If you are 40 years or you are 35 years, you are not married yet, the Lord will give you a better husband that will make you to forget all the years of waiting. Ah, if you are seeking for a job, ah, the Lord will give you a job that will make you to forget all the wasted years. Lift up your voice and cry unto God. In Jesus' mighty 
mighty name we are praying. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. He said, for I know the thoughts that I, have, I think towards you. Say that the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. The Lord loves you and I. But the enemy wants to you know, raise an ugly head. Feeling that he's too big headed. But God is bigger than him. Because he told us in the word that his word will not come back to him for it. So you lift up your voice and say, my father, my father, my father. My father, my father, my father. By the power in the name of Jesus. I decree all that belongs to me. You will surely come to pass. You will surely come to pass. Lift up your voice and decree. All that the Lord has spoken concerning you will come to pass. All that the Lord spoke concerning you, it will come to pass. You will marry a good husband. Oh, you will have that good job. You will get into the admission, into the university at the right time. Yo, leka ba 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 ba. Read the second You will marry that good man that will make you forget the past of sorrow, all the years of shame, all the years of delay. You will get that contract that has eaten all your money. Leka ba sakule preke de bush. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. The Lord gave us another word of encouragement. In Job chapter 5, verse 12, he said he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprises. Ha! Our God is a big God. We are the one that is injuring him not to perform what he needs to perform. But you must wait because it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Say, My Father, my Father, my Father, by your power, by your fire, for straight, for straight, every devices of the enemy, all that they are planning to see my joy, to see my peace, to see my wrath, Father, for straight. The devices of the enemy to see my laughter, to see my joy, to see my happiness. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray, 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 pray. They are gathering everywhere. The God has finally given you husband. They said you should not have children. The God has finally given you job. They said no oh, promotion should not be there. The Lord has given you contract. After doing the contract, they will bring sickness or stealing. They will bring trouble to take it away. Cry unto God. Tell a lot of frustration. That a lot of frustration. The cancel of the wicked one. All the devices of the enemy are stealing your joy, stealing your rest, stealing your peace. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If I have the righteous one in the house, shout the Lord, hallelujah. The voice of the righteous is powerful. And that's why the word of the Lord said in the book of Job chapter 22 verse 28. He said, whatever thing that ye shall decree, it shall be accomplished. And thy ways shall be made light. You will decree with your voice. And with a shout, we are commanding some things to go out. Say, oh wind of boriness. Oh, wind of joblessness. Oh, wind of infirmity. Oh, wind of sickness. We command you scatter. Scatter. Get out. Recover. There is power in the house. The Lord is in the house. The Lord is in the house. Recover. Sukaba. Yes, 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 yes. The wind of the pack or two calabragada. We command you scatter. Wind of barrenness. Wind of barrenness. Wind of joblessness. Wind of poverty. Wind of love. Wind of sorrow. Wind of sickness. Infirmity. Affliction. We command you scatter. Your time is up. Scatter.
scatter, 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 scatter. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You know my set to learn no more. Can't solely be more. Yes, they set to learn no more. Can't solely be more. The song says, Lord, set to me so that I will rejoice with my mates. Do I have somebody in the house that needs settlement? If you're in the house, shout out loud, hallelujah. You will pray this prayer. Moving around, not standing in a spot because you will no longer be delayed. It is a sign in the realm of the spirits that you will never stand on the spot. So you will say, the power of the Holy Ghost, I take my possession. I take my place in glory. I take my place in honor. I take my possession. I wear my wedding gown. I put my put on my wedding ring. Oh, I get that best job that I desire. Re kababa. I get that contract. Re ketelebo. I get my children in the number I want them to be. I take my conception. Re kupata kata kata. I receive my divine head. What do you want? What do you want to possess? What do you want to possess? I possess my healing. I possess my abundance. I possess my abundance. Brakuta kata kata. Rekete brogodo. Brata sakute lebre. Reke zeke la brakata. Rekama sakata lebre gelebo. On the altar of God, I carry my babies. I carry my babies. Rekete kelebo. I possess my divine hand. I possess my divine hand. Renda satu le prakata. Reken de kele prakata. Rebo sokote lebre gada. Breketu la prokoto. Renda satu le prekete. Renda satu le prekata. Renda sokote le prekete. Masatara bragada. I take good and level. I take my admission letter. I take my admission letter. Rete su kapateke. Renadaza to le bragada. I pass su kapale prokotebo. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. With that fire and the anointing inside of you, we want to pray for our pastor. Our pastor, the general overseer, Pastor Ie Adeboe, and our dear daddy, Pastor Emmanuel in Mifinim. With the fire of God inside of you, I want you to pray this prayer as if you have not been praying. The book of Isaiah 68 verse 1. He said, let God arise and let the enemy be scattered. You will take this prayer point. Say, oh Lord my God. Arise. And bring down all the gang up of the enemy that want to bring down your son. Pastor Ie Adeboye. That want to bring down your son. Pastor Emmanuel Mephene. In life and in ministry. Ah, Father, Lord, King of glory. Arise and bring them down. Requa masu kaba. Brekati le prekete. Bradozo ko le prekata le prekete bosh. Brekunda labo le prekete. Bradezi ka le prekoto. Masanta labo le prekata. Brekuta le prekoto le prekete. Bredazo to la valina na sekele. Rekavo shi kaba sakule. Brekete le prekoto le prekata. Rena senta la boli prekete. Bretu sapu su kana tu kale. Rendo su kala vale bragada le bregede bo. Brodo soto le bana mana da sete de bo. Renda soto le bale bragada le kete. Tanto to le brokoto. Brade sete le balana da sike de bo. Rendo su kale bregede. Re katata la brogre mana da bo shende de bo. Rende si kala. Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. We are prayed with thanksgiving. I say, Lord God, we give you honor. We give you praise. We give you adoration. We magnify your name. We thank you because you are not man. You are God. There is none that can be compared with you. When you say a thing, it comes to pass. You have assured me, Lord, our Father, 
that an end has come to stagnation. An end has come to delay. And I decree, Lord, because you did it for me. For this one, oh Lord, our Father, I decree that you'll do it for them in the name of Jesus. As you go, the Lord will go before you. This season, you will address your miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it has started showing. And if you have not received your own, this is your time. Receive in the name of Jesus. And so will it be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And let the living shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.